manageable bands and is water resistant. One of the first tests we insisted on is it has to pass the washing machine test. Cellular is built in. It doesn't link to your phone or plan. It uses Google's Fi network. You can call and message your child or vice versa and see where they are on a map in real time. Since it's not assigned a phone number, all calling and messaging must be done through the app. Trusted contacts will have to download it too. Fitbit Ace LTE also has built-in games to keep kids active. That are immersive, they're fun, you are fishing, you're dancing, you're a chicken in a bathtub racing through space. My favorite one is Otal Secret. It's like a computer game and then you find this person and you have to like do puzzles and you have to like power them. Google says location data is deleted within 24 hours, there are no third party apps and data is not used for ads or other purposes. It really truly is a device that's been built with privacy and data minimization right at the forefront. Overall, the Fitbit Ace LTE is an excellent way to keep track of and in touch with kids who might not be ready for a smartphone. Very cool. And what's cool about this is that um, if it looks very simple, especially, you know, you saw young DeMiro there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it looks like, you know, it, it's just very simple to navigate, even for the young kids. But I also feel like now with this new generation, you give them any advice, any uh, device, <laughs> and they already know how to use it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how'd you do that? <laughs> I guess it's because me, I guess when you get older, you're like, okay, well, what do you do here? But they're like, oh, no, it's this, this, yeah. this, and this. I'm mm -hmm. like, did yeah. you watch a YouTube video or just, <laughs> I don't know how kids do it these days. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, good for them. I, I mean, we're struggling every day with just our phones, our iPads, our this, or that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. I have an iPad goodness. issue this morning. Yeah. yeah. And you would know. <laughs> I don't even know how to turn on my phone. No, yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's a struggle out here, but these kids know it. Like, yeah. Good the, for them. Top yeah. of their heads. And there's Come so many on. things that are digital, right? Mm -hmm. We have the iPad, yeah. we have yes. the phone, we have the watch. I have a ring that's also digital. That's I love right. that. Yeah. You're, you're lucky your one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of things to kind of keep track and mm -hmm. make sure that it's all running smoothly and yeah, stay um, organized. Exactly. Cool. And then, God forbid if one of them dies. <laughs> Good luck. That's it. Yeah. Disconnected. <laughs> For real. Yeah. What's today? Yeah. yeah. The day needs to be done. Start <laughs> over the next day. Exactly. Yeah. Well, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for MC23 News today. I'm Jeremiah Marshall. And I'm meteorologist Ben Medina. And I'm your lifestyle host, Danielle Bonda, on this National Firefighter Day. Guys, oh, nice. they do so much. They oh. do. They really and we do. have to say thank you or at mm -hmm. least take a moment to think about all the hard work they go through for mm -hmm. our safety. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, firefighters. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank uh, you. What you do, all those first responders out mm -hmm. there, keeping mm -hmm. us safe. Mm -hmm putting yourselves out there on the front line. We really appreciate everything that they do. I know. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty good stuff there. Mm -hmm. All right, very mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. They have a hot job. Uh, I, <laughs> oh. Wait, uh, uh, you know what I, you know what I meant? Yeah. Because, because of the hot uniform. outside, yes. Oh. Oh. I was thinking because of the wildfires, because of fires happening in domestic situations. You know what I mean? This is just weird. Anyway, go on. Okay, Danielle. No, it's a we hot know what job. you mean. Yeah, it is yeah, a hot it job. Is. And they wear the big suits. Yes. And it's <laughs> Yeah, they are very hot. <laughs> I got what you meant. That's what you yes. know what I meant. Yes, it's I got okay. what you meant. I'm there with you, Danielle. It's okay. Everyone can agree that it's hot. I'm about yes. to walk yes. off this This is a very screen. hot occupation to have. Oh, yes, very hot. And these temperatures do not help because mm. those temperatures are, are, hot. are hot. Yeah, and conditions are muggy <laughs> as well because of that humidity out there. So hot temperatures this morning and for this afternoon as well. But if you're just waking up to start your day, that's exactly what you're waking up to and with partly cloudy skies and traffic is not that bad. Taking a look at our far bureau cam. So again, just pretty calm conditions overall, a clean swipe across radar, 